Look, let me just bring her on out here. We've met the fellas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you bringing out Sally May? Hey, yes, I'm bringing out Sally May. Well, maybe we should blindfold these fellas first. Blindfold them? <laughs> we'll just bring my daughter out here. Oh, you're right. We should shackle them, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> just blindfold them. you got to do anything. Actually, fellas, pop them glasses off. That way, if the blindfold fails, it won't burn as much. <laughs> She's the three-time goat milking champion of Frontier Land, the pride of the Ponderosa, the very fruit of my loons. Why, last year, she made my wife and I so proud when she played the lean in the town pageant. She was old yellow, phone with the loud guy on the key When she was born, I asked the doctor, is it a boy or a girl? He said, no. Friends, even with all that accolades, she's still a tiny bit shy, so we will need all of you. Hooping in a holler at the coach around another hole, she might be hiding in. So let's welcome my daughter, Sally May. Get married. My clock is ticking. <laughs> Surely it looks like your alarm went off. Okay. <laughs> right. Forgive my All right. Look what your daddy's doing for you. Three fine specimens of manhood in this here. Wait, daddy, these are all for me? Wait, oh, I'm going to stop my way in the middle and work my way out. <laughs> we'll start here with the dark colors, a bad boy. And then you might go left or right, red or blue. I can't decide, daddy. <laughs> Come on over here, it ain't a buffet, you just get one of them. Well, how am I going to break this one? Well, you're going to ask these fellas a few questions, and then they'll answer those questions, and then compare, and trash, and pick a husband. This sounds like a fun game, yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Okay, I got this all ready. Potential husbands. Yeah. And all the wild animals in the wild frontier. I bet you a wild one, aren't you, Brad? Yeah. Which wild animal best describes you? All right, fellas, you heard the question. Animal magnets is a real important in a relationship, Tracy. So, what wild animal, wild frontier do you think is the most like you? A, a, a turtle. A turtle? Don't worry, Red, I'll get you out of that shell. Okay. He's rooting for me. I don't know how long you got your dog for bullets there, didn't you? All right. Jim, we come to you. Love wild animals in the wild frontier. Which one represents your personality the most? A chip and Z. Oh, he sounds like a barrel of fun there. <laughs> Bobby, let's come on down to you. Uh, what, just maybe I'm asking this wrong. What animal, what, based on her voice, her personality, what animal does Sally bring out of you? Oh, a chicken. A chicken. <laughs> a chicken. Did he say chicken? Yeah. Where is he from? Kalamazoo? <laughs> you can throw him back, Daddy. I don't feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> We'll just get you started, so let's move on to our second question. Oh, that's right, there's no question. Yeah, let's do a second. <laughs> Ooh, husbands, family game night is a tradition in the McGillicuddy household. Which family board game would you use to describe me? Okay, well, I'm going to start thinking of a whole game that describes my daughter. Just based on her voice, her general dynamic. Tracy, what board game do you think describes Sally May? Cards Against Humanity! <laughs> What the matter is? This ain't your contest, lady. <laughs> he had a good answer right here. I don't think anybody heard it. It was shoots and ladders. Shoots. Relationships are full of ups and downs, man. Yeah, ups and downs. Let's go down here to Jim. Jim, we come to you. Uh, just based on her voice, her personality, what family board game do you think describes my daughter? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Probably be coming to you. You've heard her voice. You've, you've got a little uh, picture of her personality. What what board game do you think describes Sally May? Uh, Battleship. Battleship. <laughs> Battleship. Well, that's what he's really. Yeah. 
they are charming out there in Kalamazoo, man. Come on now. Oh, damn, I'm about to sink that chicken boat. <laughs> Earn that chicken extra crispy. We're not going to you can't do that. It's the happiest place on earth. It would make me happy to turn that chicken into nothing. So we're going to move on to our third and final question here. Let's just... Oh, let's ride. we got one more. This is a romantic question. Husbands, imagine we're on a romantic honeymoon cruise on the Mark Twain Riverboat. What romantic song will you sing to me? Oh, fellas, we're going to pick up a song, a title of a romantic song. We don't need you to sing it. We just need the title. Chris, let me paint the picture a little bit for you here. There you are, you're on the Mark Twain River boat, not to be confused with the Mark Twain chicken boat. <laughs> the moonlight's glistening off the water as you stare deeply into Sally's one good eye. Chris, what romantic song would you sing to hold her heart? Oh, come on now, there's tons of music around here. The first song pops in your head. Theme park full of music. Jingle bells. <laughs> He's already got the holiday spirit. We got two in front of that one, and he's still on the jingle. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know what? It took him some time, Daddy. Just wait for Christmas, okay? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's go to Jim. Jim, we're coming. There you are. Your big girl and your mama arms are wrapped around her big girly <laughs> Jim, what song of love do you sing to? You can't touch this. You can't touch this. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge, Daddy. <laughs> Really good answer there, yeah. <laughs> Carefully, you might win. Let's get out here. Bobby the Gunny, there you are, you're on the march right over by the side of me, and burst through the doors. A song leads to your heart. What is that song? Who let the dogs? Who let the dogs? I heard what he said, okay? I have a song for him. Who punched my lights out? Oh, hey, 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 come on now. There's all these people here. Everybody get out. <laughs> you can stay home until I look. Sally, it's time to end this thing right now. It's time for you to choose. Who will be one, two, one, three. Oh, Daddy, I have trouble deciding. You know, I got qualities I don't like. But number one is lovable. She's excited. She's a fan. Number two is a bad boy. And number three is drunk. I Tell you what, I'll let the audience help me to decide. We'll do this all democratic like my applause. Folks, let's go right down the line. Should Sally choose cowboy number one? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know, right? Yeah, you haven't touched with a long minute this <laughs> Really trying to get ready to do <laughs> Jim, we come to you. How about Jim, cowboy number two? You can get a close down here all the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. Woo! What in the heck are you doing? I want applesauce for my chicken boat. <laughs> you don't have either one. So. What? Oh. <laughs> Tell me you heard their decision, but the final decision is yours. Will it be one, two, or three? Daddy, I want so much for the people to like me. I will go with bachelor number three. Daddy, you just made two men very happy. <laughs> Let's meet him right now. Cabo number one comes to us all the way from Salt Lake City, Utah. But it wasn't meant to be, so uh, Tracy will turn her left here and meet my daughter, Sally Mack. Ta da! Uh-huh. You'll get over me in time. Give a big round of applause. Well, Jim, you had some sassy answers for one minute of me. So please leave it over. Sally May. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now that you see me, you should have tried harder. Give me a hand, Jim. You go back to the seat. I'm saying it. Great job. Well, Jim, there it is. I'm going to leave all them waiting for you. Mommy, she's a new wife. Please meet her. Here she is, Miss Sally May. Hey! Oh! Miss Sally May! Hey! 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 Hey!
I can take her. No, get up here! Get up here right now. Claim I should have done this from the start. You're Mary and Sally Day. That's it, and that's fine. Well, I just because you're the mayor, you say so. I'm the mayor of here now. Well, in that case, I can put off and I'm gonna run for mayor. Who is with me? Yeah. Oh.